Today we're going to talk about iliolumbar ligament pain. We're going to talk about the basic anatomy with this ligament, some of the history behind this ligament, how this ligament is injured, and what happens with this injury. So using this AP radiograph of the lumbar spine here, on the L5 and L4 vertebral bodies, we have the uh, transverse process coming off that we're mapping out here. Uh, the iliolumbar ligament connects from the upper rim of the pelvis here on the ilium uh, and it connects uh, to the L4 and L5 uh, transverse processes. So this ligament helps stabilize these lower levels of the uh, lumbar spine. Uh, there's a lot of uh, shear force on this. Uh, as you bend at the waist, there's a, you create a long lever arm of the spine and uh, puts a large amount of force on that lower lumbar lumbosacral junction here. Uh, and that's typically why we see most of the wear and tear in the L5 L and L4 levels here. Again, that long lever arm of the entire spine. So those uh, ligaments help, help stabilize that segment. Dr. Hackett in the, back in the 1950s was really the first one to investigate this ligament as a potential source of lower back pain. This ligament is injured either from a single overload lifting injury or it could be from a cumulative overload with repetitive movement. Ideally when we flex at the spine our pelvis tilts and keeps the lumbar spine relatively stable. Often with tight hamstrings it forces us to have to round the back and it adds an additional uh, amount of stress to the uh, lower lumbar spine, uh, which can lead to injuring the ligaments and subsequently the discs. So as we injure these ligaments, it creates a little bit of instability in this lower lumbosacral region, uh, which then allows for uh, progression of the wear and tear in the, uh, these lower uh, lumbar discs, and then subsequently the uh, facet joints as well. Uh, back to this other image we looked at previously, we sometimes see some spurring at this attachment site, kind of like how we see with uh, tendinopathies, a little bit of uh, bone spurring at the bony attachment site. Dr. Hackett also mapped out the uh, referral pattern associated with this iliolumbar ligament, uh, feeling pain in the lower back and referring into the lateral thigh and also to the groin. If this instability progresses and the degenerative changes progress, you can start to compromise the spinal nerves, and this can often re result in a spinal fusion. All right, so that's it. So next time we'll give you some update on uh, treatment for uh, the lumbar ligament pain, what we do to uh, help, it, help the pain and also uh, help stabilize that segment.